Your journey of learning Java begins now, before we can even start typing Java code and coming close to looking like those hackers that we see in movies. We have to download some software on our computer. There are two things that we have to download on our computer. The IDE, short for Integrated Development Environment, which is our text editor, and the JDK, short for Java Development Kit. In this video, I'll just be showing you how to download the IDE we will be using, which is Genie. There are numerous IDEs, such as Eclipse and IntelliJ, but what are they? In common, they're all source code editors that computer programmers use for software development. We will be using Genie because of its simplicity. Now this is what the source code editor of Genie looks like. Very simple. If you name the document as a Java file, everything you type will be read as a Java file. As a first step in downloading Genie, our source code editor, open up a window and type genie.org. Press download Genie right here. Depending on your computer version, press the correct file to download. Since I'm using Windows, I'll press on geniesetup.exe. For Mac users, press the link below. The setup for Genie should appear and click through it to download Genie into your computer. Once you're finished, open up your Genie application. As you can see, here's a document in which you will be typing in your code. Now this is what Java code will look like in the beginning, but later on as through these tutorials as you learn more and more Java, your code can look like this. To customize, if for some reason the appearance doesn't appeal to your taste, you can change the visual preferences of Genie as it is just a text editor. You can go to view here and press on change font to change the font to whatever you like. You can also change your background color scheme by pressing view again and going to color scheme. As you can see, your text editor doesn't need to be white. It can be a multitude of colors. Colors and fonts won't affect the way your text editor functions, but Genie will be extremely useful as that is where you will be typing all of your Java code. However, right now it's just a text editor. It doesn't actually know Java. So for your computer to recognize Java, in the next video, I'll show you how to download the JDK or the Java Development Kit. See you in the next tutorial.